Hi friends, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra, back again at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale with my friend Tori Soper from Soper Firearms hey, Training. Everybody. Today I'm gonna to introduce you to something I've been working on, a new drill okay. that is a variation on the five yard roundup. Uh, I talked to Justin Dial about it, he's comfortable with it. We're gonna call it the five yard roundup type two. Magtech is the only pistol or rifle ammo I use on the range and I recommend them highly. I've seen their manufacturing and quality control firsthand and it's incredible, which is why it always performs reliably and accurately. They are operating at max capacity and cranking out rounds for you to keep your skills sharp. Pick up some Magtech at your local ammo retailer or get it shipped fast at luckygunner.com. So you saw Tori and I shoot this drill and we had a good time with it. Tori shot it very, very well. Had a great time. I'm not unhappy with me. If you look down at the targets, you can see we actually just shot it. Of course, we're posting this a little bit later to keep in line with the you know programming of the channel. But now we're gonna shoot a variation of this drill. I talked to Justin and I have um, just a couple things that are kind of me things okay. in terms of how this drill is shot. First of all, I love the fact that coming out of the holster, you know, uh, you gotta shoot out of the holster, love that but I kind of felt like 2.5 seconds is a pretty generous time. When we say for the average, you know, for the national standard for a concealed carrier, we want that shot to come out at 2.0 is what we'd like, right? So, and, and to have a follow-up shot in about 0.5 seconds. Okay. So we're gonna change the first string to two shots in 2.5 seconds. So you gotta get a second one. Then we're gonna run the second string identically. We're gonna go to from a low ready two hands, come up, fire four in that 2.5 seconds. Third string is identical as well. So then we are going to drop our support hand off the gun, fire three shots in 2.5 seconds. The last string is where I've made another change. Because instead of going to support hand, because we talked about this earlier, I've never seen a private citizen use their support hand only in a real gunfight. In all the videos, yeah, never. We just never seen it. Now, that's not to say you shouldn't work on your support hand, working on your dumb hand, like Brian Hill taught you a couple weeks ago here on the channel, gives you novelty, teaches you if God forbid every, something happens to your strong hand, you need to run support hand for a while, it helps you. Those are, they're helpful things. But for this test, I wanted something that was a little more useful for private citizen gunfighting. And so what we're gonna do after the third string with strong hand only, we're gonna drop our magazine, clear the chamber and reinsert our magazine. So that means we gotta load 11 when we start here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is now we have an empty chamber and a, and a magazine with at least one round in it. Then we're gonna put two hands back on the gun. At the beep, we're gonna come up and it's gonna go click, okay? Then we're gonna clear that malfunction and get another shot and get, get an actual shot in two and a half seconds. Okay. Now, if you've been on the channel, you know that uh, here recently we saw a guy with a button on his gun. That's right, that's right. And his grip goofed up and it dropped his magazine partially. So I he just, read just- I mean, it was just- Just a little. So, so he had to, you know, he didn't tap, then, then he tried to clear it, went click again, and he ran off. I have said, and, and what that's changed to me now, I've seen that if you're running a button mag release, if you're running, especially running an extended mag release, I really want you to tap that base plate, okay? Yeah. If you're running a paddle like I am, I don't think you have to you don't still. Have to worry about that probably so don't got to worry about it. But if you're running a button, your grip can cause that that sucker to come out. You better run that tap and get used to it. So let's try it on camera. You get to be the first ones to see this. And in fact, this is the first time I've actually run this one in all of its entirety. We ran the the click and clear and go okay. uh, a couple times just off camera to see if it was realistic. And uh, so let's run it on camera for the first time. Cool deal. Now again, you're the guest. You want to go first? I'll or want go, me to go first. first. All right, Tori's going first. That's a gutsy man. All right. Tori, you feel like you need to check your gun and your dot? I always feel like administrative checks are free. May as well use them, right? We are set and squared and ready to go. Okay, you're going to run bottom left? Bottom left. Very good. On this first string, you're going to draw and fire two. Try and fire two. In 2.5 seconds. Two. Two in 2.5 seconds. Are you ready? 10-4. Stand by. 2.34, hustled on that last one. Keep the gun in hand. Oh, that's right, because we're doing... Yeah, now we're going to do, from the bottom of the target again, we're gonna go fire four in 2.5 seconds. Are you ready? Stand by. 2.3 on the last shot, good shooting. Drop your support hand off the gun, and now we're going to fire three in 2.5 seconds. Are you ready? Nope. Stand by. Ready. Okay, deep breath. <sighs> All right, stand by. So you needed a third one there. Uh, last one came in at four, six, so we're not gonna count that one. Now, uh, what I want you to do is I want you to uh, drop your magazine. 
clear your chamber. Okay, reinsert your magazine. All right, now you have an empty chamber and a round in the gun. So on the beep, you are going to raise the gun and get a click. You've got to get a click, clear the malfunction, and get a single shot on target in two and a half seconds. Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. Two point seven, just Ooh. over on that one. Tough, right? Very tough. Tough drill. Going, trying to do the clear, I lose my dot. So when I was trying to come back up, I kind of had to search. Like, oh no, where to yeah, go? Yeah, yeah, and you totally go into this. Oh no. So, so it's a tough test. Oh, you know, very right? tough. Yeah, this one's tough. Let's go look at points. So good shooting down two, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that would be 90, 90, except for we had two shots over. That's right. So we go down to 70 on that one. So that, again, I'm going to give Tori all the, all the flex in the world, right? It's really tough shooting on camera. When you're shooting on camera and you know a couple hundred thousand people are paying attention, man, it takes it you. Adds, it, it, takes, adds, it adds a little pressure. A big bunch of pressure. So uh, I tell you what, why don't, uh, I'm going to shoot it, and then we're going to give Tori another opportunity to shoot it because I want you to feel okay. good about this, okay? Let's but my turn first. Let me also say to you, I would strongly recommend you shoot this from your EDC. You shoot this from how you carry it and what you carry. This is a great test. I, you know, if you come out here in gamer gear or you're coming out here and you're carrying the bigger gun to the range or something, I don't, I don't mind. I mean, do whatever you want, right? But for me, for this to be a real good test of my skills, I need to carry how I'm carrying every day. So this is my every day. Well, that only makes sense because that's what you're gonna have at your gunfight. Exactly right. So your best bet on this is to shoot it from what you would carry every day. Now I know for some people are like, yeah, but I mean, my scores are going to go down if I'm shooting my little gun instead of the big gun. Yeah, sure will, but that's life. Two shots in 2.5 seconds. Shooter ready. Two point oh. Damn it. Okay, frustrated at the nine. Shooter ready. One point nine. Shooter ready. 2.1. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Now I'm going to drop that. Shooter ready. 2. How'd I do on 2. that? 2.26. 226. 226. All right. So I was all in time. Let's come back down range and see what we got. So on the type 2. Oh my. So on the type two here, I'll give myself that one, but certainly not that one, okay? So 99 again, um, I'm pretty happy with that. I do think clearing that malfunction is a little spicy. Yeah, it's, it's, it puts a little more thinking in your brain and it's, it slows you down a little bit because you've got to think. You really do. Uh, and again, because I had to do something to my gun, I then had to reacquire my grip, reacquire my sight and get a shot on target. Now, one of the things you noticed is I'm running a paddle release, and so I didn't tap. I, again, I don't have that problem. I was just getting ready to ask because I decided in that I run a button, so I decided I need to do the tap per the video in our discussion. Right, and, and listen, so, so is that fair? Well, I think you That's get to your choose EDC. what gun you want to run. And since you get to choose what gun you want to run, you get to choose what your standard operating procedures are. Every gunfight, as Chuck Pressburg taught me, every gunfight is open division, right? You get to bring whatever it was you were going to bring, and you got to run that particular gun. So this is a spicy test. So this Type 2 is a tough test. And, and I think, again, man, if you can get this over 80, I, I really think you're doing pretty well here. If you get over 90, man, I think you're really shooting great. Yeah. If you can get 95 or above, man, I, I really think you're doing well. And I know that's like, oh, John's bragging on himself. I had a lucky day, okay? So we'll just call that a lucky day. Let's let Tori shoot it again, put some fresh paper up, and, and we're going to give him another round at this because he's going to score over 80 all day. Sounds good to me. Okay, I've got 11 in the gun. Okay. Remember now, Tori, all you can do is bring all the skill that you currently possess on demand to the task at hand. Okay. Right? Uh, and, and the other part of that is, however you score, who cares? You're right. <laughs> your job's not at stake. No. Right? Nobody's going to say no. that you're, you know, your baby's ugly or your mama's fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll do a check here. All right. This first iteration, we're going to shake it out just a little bit. A little T-swizzle, shake it off, dance off. <sighs> yep. 
Okay, draw and fire two. Draw and fire two on this iteration. Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. 2.09. Excellent work. Now we're going to fire four two-handed from the low ready. Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. 242. Excellent use of time. That's perfect use of time. Okay, strong hand from the low ready. Firing three. Three. Stand by. 236. Excellent timing. Nope. So now we are going to put the gun oh, back we're doing in our, the... our dominant hand. That's and right. We are going to clear the chamber. So we're going to drop the magazine, empty the round. Okay, insert the magazine again. Make sure you got at least one in it. All right. On the beat, you're going to come up and get a click. You are going to clear the malfunction, and you are going to put one shot on the target. Stand by. Two, seven, eight. Dang it. Just over again. You know what I think it was? I want you to try this one more time, Tori. Okay. I want you to get one round in the magazine, because you've got an empty gun right now. Yes. So I want you to put that one round in the magazine, because you know what I saw? What did you You see? came up. Uh, click. And that was at least a quarter second. Okay. Okay? So that was at least a quarter second. I want you to come up, and as soon as you see a flash of dot on there, click. Put it in there. Get Because it's you know it's going to click. Right. Right? So just click. Come and up, click. Go after it. Right? Okay. So you're thinking as soon as that goes off, as soon as I see a dot anywhere on that B8, click. Okay. And then clear it hard. Okay. Are you ready? <sighs> ready. Stand by. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Reset. Go ahead and grab your magazine again. I got all kinds of flustered on that Yeah, one. right? Man, this is the thing. You'd get a cognitive load, right? And all yeah. of a sudden, what is happening? Yeah, because I was, I was starting to think, watch that dot and make sure. Click, clear it, go, right? Click, clear it, go. Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. <laughs> 304, because you're thinking again. I'm thinking. I want to try it one more time. You're still putting X's on there, so we're, we haven't lost any more points. I want you to try that one more time. And it's the, the part that I'm thinking is that where I'm, where I'm losing myself is I get the click, but now then, what? yeah, then I, I go, because I, I myself quit training the tap for okay. a long time. Yeah. Yeah. But because of like we talked about, I've decided to start teaching that. So now I'm fighting my previous, previous association. Association. Okay. Yeah. So, so okay. I'm going to give you a freebie on this one. You're going to very firmly before we start, you're going to make sure your magazine is seated. Okay. So you're going to come up, click, run the slide, and go. Okay. Okay? Okay. Now, is this a bit of artificiality? Maybe. We're running a drill. It's artificial. We know that magazine's inserted. Magazine is good. So we should know that on the reg. And we should also run a paddle mag magazine release gun so we don't have this problem. So, are you ready? Ready. Stand by. 214. Safely, carefully, reluctantly holster. <laughs> now, now here's what we see. Down one, down two. Now, again, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here because we shot two extra rounds, right? Right. But what did we find with Mr. Tory on that? So, first of all, this was just a, a novelty problem. Right. This was a, well, I've never shot this before, so, so I have to think more, and I'm doing this weird stuff. So, you can see Tory is an excellent shooter, right? So, what did we really have here? Once we figured out what the problem was and fixed that one thing that we were having a hard time with, we're a 98. Put it right there. Uh, 98 shooting, <laughs> friend. That's, nice, man. that's some cool shooting right there. Look at all these X's. Man, that's amazing. Well, that's some really high quality I, I got to tell you, I'm, I can't good. get the grin off my face, <laughs> man. So this is, I think, actually a cool thing because we use this drill and we go, oh, wait a minute, I'm struggling with a thing. Okay? So now, if we wanted to do some stuff, what I would really suggest, if we're like, no, I do want to start teaching the tap because I think that for me in this environment, it's something that I need to do because of the button or whatever. Now we know we need to work on in our dry fire practice, right? Exactly. We need to work on that. Okay, so I get a click, click, tap, rack, bang, okay? You know, it's got click, tap, rack, bang, if that's what you got to do. Um, if you're running a superior firearm with a paddle magazine release, you can just still go click, rack, bang, okay? So if H you're running that. <laughs> 
So it's okay, you can run any gun you want to. If you want to run an inferior design magazine <laughs> release, that's totally fine with me. And I'm just totally serious. <laughs> Tori, great job, man. Thanks. Thanks, man.